They don't want, yay, and they don't want Kyrie to say anything. That's why, okay? Nick Cannon said something. Ice Cube said something, okay? Uh, Deshaun Jackson said something. Look what they've done to them. They scared them. They scared them. That's they're, exactly right. Steal their money or kill they, them. That's they right. Take their money or kill them. But you know what, sis? When it comes down to it this day and time, they just don't have to kill us. You know why? Because our people is going to know the truth, whether they like it or not. Right. because you are really listening. You are really paying attention, okay? And I appreciate y'all doing that. A lot of times, our women don't want to hear nothing from, our, from, from the men. As y'all see, we ain't out here trying to beat anybody down. We're trying to give our people truth. Did y'all hear about the situation with Con, what's his name, Ye? Former Kanye? Huh? That's right, that's right. Why, have y'all heard the controversy that's going on? With the Adidas, uh, with, why are they taking why are they taking that his his, his billions of dollars? Uh, why are they doing that to, to Ye? What he's saying? What is he saying? Like negative stuff. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what he's saying. Okay. Actually, it's something he said that affects every last one of us standing out here right now. Yeah. That's why they're coming against him. Right. Because what he said was something for his people. That's why they come against us. You know what? We're going to cut your money off. We're going to take your contracts. We're going to shut you down. We're going to do everything until you take back what you said or apologize what you said. Matter of fact, we want you to say you was wrong. Same thing they're doing to Kyrie Irving. Right. Because he spoke something that was true. Okay. Not only that, he just tweeted something to, to show his people, hey, y'all get a chance to go watch this. You know what he what he put out there was nothing but what y'all see laying before you right now is coming right out of this black book right here. Right. Which is your history. That's right. This fight has always been our history. This is true black history right here. Right. They've been teaching us that this is white man or white su supremacy. That's not what this is. Okay. And there's no thing such thing as black supremacy. Who do you you see us out here hanging people? Do you see us out here running people down with dogs? Okay, we got a problem amongst our own self right. that we're trying to work out. Right. We ain't trying to focus on all the other nations. The Chinese doing well, the white man doing well, Everybody the Arab right. man doing well. Right. But just like said, Ye said, but what about my people? Right. What about my brothers? Right. What about my sisters? I'm concerned about my people. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about my young men and my young women in the schools being educated and taught who they really are. Letting them know that they're more than just a, a football player right. or a basketball player yeah. or a singer and a dancer, That's okay, right. or a whore, a whoremonger, okay, yeah. a thought. Our people are more than that. That's We're the greatest right. people on the face of this earth, That's and it's right. written right here in this Bible. The, the Bible right here is a book of our forefathers That's and right. our foremothers. Right. So what's going on? Kanye, formerly known as Kanye, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, okay. A, a, a very athletic, gifted young. He ain't just no no nigga that run up and down the basketball court. He has some intelligence about himself as well. Okay. Did, 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 did Kyrie go to Duke? He went to the he went to the to the white man. I'm a Carolina fan if I want to be something. But again, that don't even matter. Okay. Because really, if it wasn't for us, the children of Israel, which who we are, 
the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, this is who we are right here, okay? Our enemies, okay? People that hate us, they gave us these names over here while they had us in captivity. That's why right, it says take a picture of it. Because I want you to go back and do your research, okay? Don't just take my word for it or the brother that was just up here. I want you to go back. The Bible says prove all things. See, we've been sitting up in the Christianity churches and all these different denominations, Baptist, Pentecost, Presbyterian, Catholic. We've been just divided amongst ourselves, but there's only one God. Right. And he don't look like that what's on that picture right there, according right. to the Bible. Okay? And we're going to read that. He looks just like us. Right. But they don't want you to know that. There's only one God. I don't know why they got all these different gods. Buddha and, 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 and Confucius and all these, uh, these Allah. These are false gods. Right. There's only one God and he created all the nations on the face of the earth. He created the very wind that's blowing against us right now that you cannot see. You ain't going to tell me there is a God. How do I know? Because me and you are standing here right now in the land of our captivity and it was prophesied in this book that we were going to come over here on slave ships. And I'm going to show you that, that you know why the pastor ain't preaching this. Why T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Joel Osteen, Juanita Bottom, we could go on. Why are they not teaching us who we are as a people? Because we on that white man's agenda, okay? But it's time out now. The prophets, the true prophets of God, the true men of God, are standing out here right now, just like what we're doing today. They're in New York, they're in South Carolina, they're right here, as you see in South Carolina, they're in North, they, they, they're all over the earth right now doing what we're doing. Out here in the hedges and highways. We are out here doing what we ain't sitting back in those four walls and those churches with no Armani suit on, with gators on our feet, asking the people for their money. Right. We don't want your money. Right. We want you to want your want your undivided attention that God can save truly save your soul. Because we ain't saved yet. We haven't been saved yet. We need a savior. And who is our savior? His name is Christ. And he is a black Messiah. Okay? He ain't white. Ain't no white man coming out of the cloud to save you. Earlier, re read me that. I know I'm moving a little too fast, but I just want to make sure I get your own advice. And I appreciate y'all standing here listening. Because I'm not going to waste my time listening and telling y'all about your lie. I love my people too much, and I'm tired of seeing my people lie to. And you ought to be tired too. But that's all they're doing to us. It's lying to our people. But Kyrie, also, yay, okay, they know that we are the true Jews. We are the children of Israel. We are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. That land that's that over there that the Jewish yeah. people are in, yeah. them imposters, yeah. that's our land. Okay. okay? They took us out from our land. That's how we ended up over here on Slacia. All we know we came over here on Slacia, but what were we before that? We wasn't running around in no jungle swinging from trees with bones and diapers on, talking about ooga booga and all that stuff. Right. No, we are greater people. Right. We rule this earth. That's earth, right. Okay? okay. And we're going to rule it again, whether they like it or not, because the truth is coming out of who we really are. And like he said, y'all are princes. But what happened to us? I'm going to show you what happened to us, okay? What you got, bro? Okay, Deuteronomy 28. Let's again. Deuteronomy 28. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. Meaning it's going to happen, okay? It's going to come to pass. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, how do we listen to God's voice? Because I'm walking around, I love to hear, hear God speak to me, okay? But we know that, don't, don't, that the God is dealing with us in our spirit. We just can't figure out. We can't put all the pieces together. But how does God speak to us? He speaks to us through this Bible right here. But the thing is, this Bible has been manipulated and twisted and used to, to keep us down, okay? It's the same Bible, okay? But it's been used by the wrong people. This Bible, so these other nations ain't got no business putting their hand. This Bible is our Bible. Okay. It belongs to us, okay. Okay? okay? Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. So we got to observe and do all his commandments. So just like he brought up about the commandment of us, of, of men, when garments does not, you know what I'm saying? Wearing dresses. Let me put that. Men ain't supposed to be wearing dresses. But that's what they're pushing out in the land today. 
Now they turn our strong black men into effeminate men. Now they turn our even our women that's supposed to be soft, okay, effeminate women, now they turn them into queen bosses. Okay? Now they independent, okay? How you how are we supposed to continue to repeat the cycle of our people producing and, and, and manifesting, okay? God, God ordained for us to, to, to come together, a, a black man and a black woman, okay, to multiply, okay? He told, he started that back with Adam and Eve, am I right? Be fruitful and multiply, okay? But we do that, there's nothing wrong with being fruitful and multiply as long as we do it in the bounds of the marriage, okay? God intended us to be married, not whore out our women, okay? And leave them as baby mamas and and. and, and my daddy, that's my baby's daddy. That's not what we're supposed to be, okay? And this system here in America has, has done, spent trillions of dollars to tear our families apart. Yet while that family's doing well and, and prospering and looking good, and all on TV like that got it going on, while we looking like a destroyed and decayed people. Making us look like we, everything under the, calling us everything under the, uh, under the sun, except for the child of God and who we really are. Right. We are the true children of God. I'm going to prove that, okay? Let me move on. I know I'm talking a lot, but I just want to make sure you understand we ain't crazy as we standing out here, okay? We have a purpose out here, and our purpose is out here in the hedges and highways, okay? Where's the pastor? I don't see him out here. Okay, all right, well, let's read on. And these statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we don't obey these law statutes commandments. So for us to obey law statutes commandments, we got to go back and know what it is that we've done wrong in order to fix it, okay? Again, just like he brought up about uh, 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 your attire, okay? Men shouldn't be seeing your shape and your body. That's for your husband to see, okay? If I was standing up here in a dress and high heel shoes on, you wouldn't respect me. You see what I'm saying? So again, Hosea 4, 6 says, my people, my people, that's a possessive word, are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Not knowing who you are, not knowing the law, statutes, commandments that God only gave to you as a people. Because you the ones, we the ones that's supposed to be ruling this earth and setting everything else in order. Not them setting us in order. We're supposed to be the head and not the tail. And they not... You understand where I'm coming from, sis? I do. Exactly right. Okay. So yes, y'all sisters, y'all the most beautiful women on the face of the earth. They desire to be like you. They want the big pretty lips. They want the nice full noses. They want the, the buttocks and, and the breasts. Okay. They want all that you got. But that what you got, God gave that to y'all. He didn't give that to the other nation. Right. They mimicking and mocking trying to be like you. Right. Because they know you're the best thing on the face of the earth. So what they do is say, we got to destroy them, and we'll take on their image. We'll become them. That's not what God intended. That's right. The roles have reversed, but we're getting ready to come right side back up. We got to change that. Right. Okay? So you are, and you do have purpose. You you are, and you do have purpose. Do you understand that, sis? If you got any questions, I'll ask you a question. The school system not really teaching you who you are according to the Bible. They're not going to teach you. They don't want. They want to teach you about their history, about their successfulness, but they won't tell you about yours. Okay? But yours is right here in the Bible. Let's read on. Give me. Uh, so we didn't listen, obey, and observe, and listen to all these commands that God gave us. That all these curses are going to come upon us. Let me show you one of the curses that that come upon us. Give me that uh, verse thirty-two. Verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Your sons and your daughters is going to be given into, to another people. Do you, you look out here? We are those sons and daughters that was given to another people. We in a land that's not ours. We in a land that they called us, again, like he brought out. They called you a Negro. They called you nigger. They called you a color. They called you an African. Now they call you an African American. Why is it that our name constantly keep being changed? Because they don't want you to identify who you really are. Lost. You, we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. When Christ the black Messiah died, he didn't die for everybody. When he was talking about the world that he died for, he's talking about the world of Israel. He was talking about our world. Our world, just like you got the sports world, you got the sea world, you got the food, food world. Okay, you got many different worlds. 
okay? But you, when you hear that, for John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, you think he's talking about everybody. God loved us. Right. Matter of fact, give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Let me prove what I'm saying. So you won't think I'm, I'm like these old phony preachers. Let's get up there and, 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 and preach and hoop and holler, make you feel good, have you pay your money, jump up and down to the music, run around the church, and you go out there and you still dumb down and don't know what's going on. You still don't know what's going on. You still don't know who you are. You still don't know you're the greatest people on the face of the earth. You still don't know that there's law, statute, commandments that you're supposed to follow, and the other people supposed to see you letting your light shine, that they want to serve your God too. That's exactly right, because they don't have no God. All the other gods are false gods and fake gods. They're lies. They worship you the sun. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For go, and holy people, unto the unto the Lord thy God. So hold on, we'll read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. He said, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. What made us holy mean that we had laws, statutes, commandments to govern us as a nation. We were a nation of people. We were a nation. That's right. Had our own land, had our own currency, we had everything. He said, but thou art a, 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 a holy people. Holy because we were separated from all the other people. We different than everybody else. They can't. They can't be us. They can't be. They try to be like us, but they can't be us. They never will be us. You know why? Because God intended us to be, to be holy, separated from all the other people. Okay. That's why. No matter what we do, what you do, sis, you're gonna always do it ten times better than them. They're gonna mimic you and try to act like you, but they can't be you. You see what I'm saying? So thou art a holy people. What? Unto the Lord thy God, uh -huh. the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. So he said, I chose thee. I chose you, sisters, to be a special people. What? Unto himself. God did this. We didn't do it. God said, I chose you to be that special people. Unto myself. You my chosen people. I don't care about the other people. I want you to be my people. We know. Above all people. They're upon the face of the earth. Did you hear that? He said, I want you to be a special people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that means he set you to be higher than them, better than them. The rest of them, he don't care about them. I'm going to show you. Read on. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. It wasn't because we were more in number that he chose us. He said, I'm going to take this big group. No, we was the least, okay? God take the least things. Sometimes God take the things that look the worst and make it the best. It that's how God is. And that's us, sister. Fish. That's us, brothers. Fish. We know. For ye were the fewest of all people. Uh -huh. But because the Lord loved you. Because the Lord what? Loved you. He loved you. We know. And because he will keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers. He made a covenant, an oath okay. to our fathers, right, okay? God right. won't break that. He right. made a commitment, uh, uh, an agreement with our forefathers. Started with right. Abraham, Isaac, right. and Jacob. Right. And Jacob had 12 sons. And out of those 12 sons come, out of Jacob come 12 sons, which are the 12 tribes of the children right. of Israel. All right. You see that? That's who we are. We are the Israelites. We are the children of Israel. We are the true Jews. The word Jew, okay, that you hear, yay, and Kyrie speak yeah. of, it only means, it's a short term for the name Judah, okay? Judah means he's a Jew. This is the top tribe out of all the 12 tribes. But all these tribes are the greatest people on the face of the earth. The Hispanic, they're your brothers and sisters. The Puerto Ricans, they're your brothers and sisters. The Native Americans, they're your brothers and sisters. They went through the same thing and going through the same thing that we're going through right now. They are the chosen people of God like us, okay? So we are the true Jews, okay? We led by, who else is a Jew that we know of, the greatest man that walked the face of this earth? He was a Jew. He was called from the lion of the tribe of Judah. Lion from the tribe of Judah. 
That's right, brother. He is a lion. Do you mess with a lion? No. You sure king. won't. Is he not the king, king of the jungle? King. Well, he's also the king of kings and lord of lords. Yeah. What right. you see out here today yeah. are kings. Right. Okay. Yeah. We are kings. That's right. And we are lords of lords. He is the lord of us. He is the king of us kings. You see what I'm saying? And y'all are his princes. Okay. So, again, he looks nothing like that. He's a black man according to the Bible. Right. All right. Give me that Revelation 1 and 14. Again, how many gates is it to the kingdom of heaven? Now, I know he asked you earlier, but I just gave you a key not just a few minutes ago. He said multiple. You right. But can you put a number on it? Say that again. You right on it. You right on it. That's right. Give us a five. Matter of fact, let's go to that first. Since we brought that up. Because I used to think it was one. We in preaching, being taught in churches, we thought it was just one big pearl of gate. That's a lie, because they make you think that one big pearl of gate is for all the nations on the face of the earth. That's a lie. It's not for all of them. We're going to show you right here. Read that. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. It is a wall, great and high. So the kingdom of heaven has a wall, great and high. Okay? And understand this. The kingdom of heaven is going to be right here on earth. When Christ come back, he's going to establish his kingdom right here on earth. You remember he gave us what we call, when we say the Lord's Prayer, or the disciples' prayer is what it's called. Our, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay, he said, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of heaven is going to be right here on earth as it is in heaven. We're praying that, and it's going to come to pass on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. okay. We know. Off earth. Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. Uh -huh. It had a wall, great and high. Uh -huh. It had 12 uh -huh. gates. Wait a minute. How many gates did it have? Yeah. Was it one big pearly gate? Read on. It had the gates, 12 angels, uh -huh. and the names written thereon. Uh -huh. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Did you hear that? On those gates are written the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. We just cleared it up. It's in the Bible. Yeah. It's been in there for hundreds of thousands of years. The same Bible we read right now. You know why we didn't know that? Because we never picked it up and really read it. Right. We've been listening to Pastor tell us his version and, and, and his sermons and his sweet speeches. He's cool by y'all and keep us asleep. Put us right back to sleep. To lies and, de and deception. They're doing the work of the devil to keep us in the place that we are in. Sisters, do your research. I know you're on the phone. But again, we just read it out of the book. Do you, did we just make that up, sis? No. no, it's written right here in the book. It's been there all along. Okay? So the 12 tribes, the, the gates, the kingdom of heaven is 12 gates for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. We, I, did, I never knew that. Why did nobody tell me this? You got to understand, too, when we came over here on slave ship, and let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. One of the curses was, okay, that we was going to come over here on slave ship. But I want Deuteronomy 28, 32 first, okay, to prove to you that we are these people that the Bible is talking about. Let's read some of these curses. Because when we came over here on slave ship, were we allowed to read or write? Exactly. And not only that, our elder people, that was teaching us, they killed them off. And they retaught us the way they wanted to teach us, telling you to obey your master. They wasn't the master, the master is God himself, Christ himself. That's who our master is, okay? Not them. Deuteronomy 28, 32, let's read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said, your son, these are the sons right here. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. Brother, say you're Judah, brother. You say you're Judah, brother. Gad and Judah. I'm American, Native American. You Gad and Judah. He has farms and Sumter and Tawson. Okay. So that's from your mama's side, right? We're not getting no reparations from that, like the white people. No, no, right, now, nah, our reparations come when Christ comes. Right. When that's you see I mean. blood spill all in these streets, because Christ coming back I'm to Jewish kill. Bro. 
originally I'm Judah, I'm a black American. Because of your dad, right? Yes, That's exactly right. The I seed did. of your father. That's right. We brothers. We blood brothers. Yeah. We we blood sister. You are our sister. Okay? Because the same blood that runs through all of our veins is the people here that we're speaking about in the Bible. We come to right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? That's right. So, our sons and our daughters shall be given to another people. We don't. And not ours. So, look. And fail the Lord for this all the day long. Give me Deuteronomy 28 48. Watch it. I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to get to the point. A few things I want to point out. So, by us being disobedient to God, when we came out of Egypt, Moses led us out. Moses is a black man. He led us out of Egypt under the power of God, okay, himself. All right. We went into the wilderness. God gave us law, statute, commandments, okay, to, 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 to uh, uh, direct us as a nation of people, okay, and made us the greatest people on the face of this earth. God told us, we kept these law, statutes, commandments, we'll be blessed, we'll be, the, we'll be all, we'll be the greatest thing. And we was dead at one point, but if we didn't, then these curses were going to come upon us. That's what we're dealing with now, the curses. These curses don't identify with those, those so-called Jewish people, okay, or the so-called Jews, because we're the real Jews. They're, they're liars. They're imposters, okay? They, they're not who they say they are. And they don't want Yay, and they don't want Kyrie to say anything. That's why, okay? Nick Cannon says something. Ice Cube says something, okay? Uh, Deshaun Jackson says something. Look what they've done in them. They scared them. They scared them. That's they're, exactly right. Steal their money or kill take them. them. That's right. Take their money vote. or kill them. But you know what, sis? When it comes down to it this day of time, they just going to have to kill, kill us. Them. You know why? Right? Because yeah. our people yeah. is going to know the truth, whether they like it or not. Right. That's Some our purpose, is to bring this from. truth out, whether they like it, whether they hear, or whether they forbear. Yes, They're right. going to hear the truth, and you can't stop God from waking his people back up. Right. You ain't going to stop it, no matter how much you try. So read Deuteronomy 28, 48. Now you tell me if this is not us. Read. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. So we ended up serving the enemies that the Lord sent against us. It was a punishment for our disobedience. Do we deserve that? Yes, we rightly did deserve it. Because we were disobedient. Just like if you had a son or a daughter and you told him not to do something, and you constantly told him over and over and over again, you gave him chance after chance after chance, would you not have to punish them? You gotta get your tail towed up, or you gonna have to get out of my house. And what God did say, you know what? Get out! You disobedient, rebellious children. Cause once he put you out, then he let you see, see what you get when you don't listen to me? See what's happening to you now? See how they treat you? Do they really love you and care for you like I do? You see what's going on? That'll make you think, re bethink yourself. Right. Then you say, you know what, I was wrong. Let me go back to daddy. Let me go back to mom and daddy. Let me go back and apologize. In other words, it's, it's a word called repent. Right. Let me change my mind. No, let me do a 360. No, not a 360. If I do a 360, I'm right back where I started from. Right. Exactly. Let me do a 180. Okay. In other words, let me repent. Let me ask God to forgive me of my sins. And God, show me the right way. Show me what I'm supposed to do. Hey. Show me, Lord God, how to serve you in, in the spirit and the truth. Give me truth, God. I'm tired of living a lie. This is not making me happy no more. This is not fulfilling me no more. I don't care how much money I got. I'm not fulfilled. I don't care how much drugs I take. I'm not fulfilled. I don't care how much sex you have. You're not going to be fulfilled unless you come back to the God right. of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And come back to know that you are the true, uh, uh, Israelite that the Bible speaks of. Right. Not no Negro, not no color, not no thought, not no whore, not no boss queen. You're an Israelite woman. Right. That's who you are. That's who you be. Come back to that. That's right. We know who we are. You know. In hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Because our disobedience, we was going to serve our enemies in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. We got to go to our enemies for everything. Well, we had it all at one time. If anything, they should be coming to us, not us coming to them. That's why I say, if it wasn't for us, sis, this America that we call America, the American dream, it's a nightmare for us. 
it's a dream for them because they are living off the wealth of slavery. They are living off the, 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 the oppression, oppression and poverty that we go through. Yeah, they're happy and living good. They're living in the nice house. Now, you know what? We're going to give a couple of these, ni these, these house niggas, we're going to give a few of them uh, a nice job. We're going to pay them real good and, 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 and let them be an example and, and a sense to make the people they can chase that same dream. But it's all in vain. Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. If you don't know who you are, if you ain't with your people, if you ain't with your people, you ain't doing nothing. If you ain't serving God, if you ain't repenting and keeping God's laws, that's commandments that was made for you, you ain't living. You were walking amongst the dead. You are literally spiritually dead. But I'm here now, according to this Bible, is to wake you up to who you are. That's what you see what's going on. That's why they don't want Ye to say anything. That's why they don't want Kyrie to say anything. Deshaun Jackson. That's why you got house niggas like Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, trying to use them to tear them down. I thought you was a big strong man. You ran out of court ducking on everybody. I thought you was a strong man standing for your people. But you yourself, it ain't nothing but old broke, broke down buck. They don't buck broke you a long time ago. Over some money. Over some paper. That don't mean nothing. I'm telling you, sis, we the greatest people on the face of this earth. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Let's read on. So we were going to serve them in hunger and negligence and in want of all things. Okay? That's one of the curses. Our children was going to be given to another people. We are those children standing here in this land today. Land. That's right, foreign land. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let me put the, the cherry on top to prove again who we are as a people. Watch this. And it's right here again in the Bible. Read verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said the Lord was going to bring you into Egypt again. Now, Moses just brought us out of Egypt up under the hand of the Lord Almighty. He said, but you're going to go into Egypt again. In Meaning right here in America a second time. It's Egypt two times. This is spiritual Egypt. Yeah. Not the physical Egypt. We're in the spiritual Egypt. But we went through some of the same attributes that we went through in Egypt. The physical yeah. Egypt. Called slavery. Picking cotton. Getting our backs whipped. You see what I'm saying? Building buildings and, 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 and pyramids. Same thing we did over there in Egypt. We doing the same thing over here. But it's even worse than this time. Because not only are they destroying us physically, but they destroyed us mentally. And when they realize that we can't stop these niggas physically, we don't cut Cooper's foot off. We don't chop limbs off from them running and, and they keep back running. Back but you know what? We don't hunger. Okay, but you know what? We can't keep hanging because we're going to destroy. We're going to destroy our, our economics. Okay? Well, let's use the black woman. She's going to help bring strong economics because we're going to have her. We're going to breed her. She's going to have big buck babies. And, and, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put her on high. We're going to make her a big mama. We're going to let her rule. We're going to let her be the boss queen. And we're going to make her put her own man down. And we're going to use her to destroy her own men. You see all the taxes that they use, okay? We literally in spiritual Egypt that to the point, not only physically, not only mentally did they destroy us, but they had to do something even greater than that to destroy us, which was called spiritually destroy us, which was take you from your God. Take your name, gave you slave names, gave you the name of your oppressor. They totally separated you from God, okay? That's one of the worst things that anybody can go through. That's why we walk around here spiritually dead. Because we've been separated from God. Spiritually had to take our God from us. And give us another God that wasn't our God. That was a lie. 
That's why we destroyed like we are, sis. What? That's why we are messed up like we are now. But spiritually now we are being awakened. We're coming back who we to to who to, to our roots, to our heritage, to our customs. Everything about it. We're coming back to it. And we're coming back hard and strong. And they don't know what to do. Okay? And that's what we want you to do. We want you to join in with it. We ain't asking for no money. Your money ain't gonna help us in this fight. Okay, how much money you it, it didn't help it didn't help Kyrie? It didn't help Yay. Yeah. Your money ain't gonna help you in this fight here. Who own the money? Who, who, who's, who's, who's manipulating the money and all that? Okay, how rich you think you get? Get back to your people and repent, sis. And let's show them how a true nation is supposed to be. Okay? So I drew you one thing I want you to do is start off by here. Do your research. You got a fly there? Find you some dresses. Put you some dresses on. If that man want to really know you, he gonna have to get to know you. He ain't gonna get to see what he want to see. He gonna have to get to know you and respect you. And make you his wife if he really want to be a man. Not just a man, but he got to come back and be a godly man. Because you are a godly woman. Okay? Watch this. We don't do wrong. You're going to go into Egypt again. So we went into Egypt, meaning bondage or slavery a second time. This was one of the curses that was going to be put on us if we, if we didn't listen and obey God. And it happened to us. And I never knew this was in the Bible. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Why, why I'm being treated like this? Why I can't get this job? Why, why, why my people always fighting amongst each other? What's wrong with us? Why are we against each other? Why are they against us? What did we do so wrong to be treated this way? We, we be good to everybody else, but we, we so raw and dogmatic and hatred towards one another. What's the problem? You know why? Because we don't know who we are. We've been separated from each other and don't know that we're brothers and sisters, that we are true families. It's like the corner sisters used to say, we are family. We are family. But they conquered and they separated. All these things you see on here, which is ain't the one nation, but all these people you see on here is one big nation. And they divided and conquered every last one of them. I'm going to put you over here on this island. I'm going to put you over here. I'm going to put you over there. And we're going to keep y'all separated. We're going to make you hate one another without even knowing that you are one another. Okay? You see what I'm saying? I don't want, we ain't gonna let you know that y'all the same people. That's we know, 28 said that you're gonna go into Egypt again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Oh, with what? With, with ships. With ships. Right. It is in the Bible. Did those people over there calling themselves Jews go into slavery or bondage and cargo slave ships? That's not them. The Bible telling you who they are. It's the people that went into bondage and slavery with ships. We was the people, our forefathers and foremothers was the ones on cargo slave ship. They got movies out about it. But you don't even realize that those movies that they're showing you are the greatest people on the face of the earth. they written right here in the Bible with ships. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. The way I spoke to you about these curses, Moses, back in Deuteronomy 28. The way I spoke to you back then, Moses, I'm proving to you that these things are going to happen. Wherewith I spoke unto thee. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. In other words, you wasn't gonna see your land no more again. Where you come from, you wasn't gonna see it no more again because you was gonna be taken away from. You was gonna, some of y'all gonna be taken over in China. Some of y'all gonna be taken all over in, in Europe. Some of y'all gonna be scattered around in Africa. We're not Africans. Let me clear that up. Okay, we're not Africans. The Africans are two different. We are in the Africa are two different people. Okay. We are two different people. Yes, we have the same skin color and darkness, but we are two different people. We don't. And there, you shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold unto our enemies. Hey, brother, don't, look. Hey, brother, don't worry about that. Hey, my brother, don't worry about it, bro. Yeah, don't, don't let it get, in, get you out of the spirit, my brother. Hey. If I hey, if, hey, if our people want to be ignorant, bro, let it be ignorant. I mean, we we, we good, bro. We good, bro. We good, bro. No, nah, we good, bro. Yeah, we don't want we don't want him, bro. He he don't know no better, bro. Nah, I feel he don't know no better, bro. 
See, that's why we got to rise up a little bit more. Yeah, y'all see, that's how the enemy do you. That's how they do you. We don't. And there, he shall be sold unto your enemies. Read that again. And there, and there he shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold. Yeah. Yeah. And there, he shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold to our enemy. The Bible itself said that ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Why pastor didn't tell me that that was in the Bible, that we was going to be sold unto our enemies. We know, for bond men, slave men, we was in bondage. We were sold unto our enemies, bond men and what? And bond women. And women was right there with us, bond women. So since that's why we got to come together. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. We came over here together. And you know what? We're going to have to leave out of here together. We're going to leave out of here together. Those that want to leave, we're going to leave out of here. Those that don't want to leave, then they're going to stay down. They're going to stay right here and burn down with Babylon. But this is going to be the lake of fire right here in America. It's going to be so huge, so much fire, it's going to look like a lake. You when you look out through an ocean of lake, it's, 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 you can't even put boundaries on it, am I right? You can't even see. That's right. exactly right. America, Babylon is Babylon the Great that the Bible prophesies of. Okay? And we're in the land of our captivity, which is here now. But we're coming out of here. Who's going to bring us out of here? God himself. The Lion of Judah. That's right. The Lion of Judah. My brother said it right. The Lion of Judah is going to bring us out of here. But in order for him to bring us out, says, again, like I said, we got to change our thinking. We got to educate ourselves on what we really supposed to be doing, which is according to this Bible. I didn't know it all, and I still don't know it all. You know what? I need somebody to teach me and guide me. Show me this, show me that. And once it starts making sense to you, then you're not just being a hearer of this word, you start doing it. And when you start doing it, then God will start manifesting himself to you more and more and more. Because he'll see that you're serious about it. Coming back to your to your people, coming back to the fold, coming back to the flock, okay? We are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, you ever heard that? The lost sheep? Well, we're going to read it, but read that. What, what was I at again? Zephaniah 2 1. Read this. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. See that? We are a nation, but we ain't desired. He's telling us, gather yourself together. He didn't say it this one time, he said it twice. Gather together, O nation of Israel. That's not desired. So that's what we're doing, sis, out here. Teaching our people, we got to gather back together. Not at no football game. Not at no HBCU homecoming. Out, all that is bull. We got to gather back, gather together, keeping these law, statutes, commandments in the faith of Christ. Okay? The faith of Christ, Christ believed. We got to follow what Christ done. Christ wouldn't just come out here and walk this earth and, 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 and say things. He done exactly and we got to do exactly as he done, okay? That's in the faith of Christ was keeping the law, statutes, commandments. Right. That's the faith of Christ, okay? That's repenting. It's a process now. It ain't going to just happen overnight. You understand me? But it's a process. Where we at? Matthew 15, 24. Watch this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sick. But this is Christ speaking. Christ said, I am not sent, but, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why well, preacher ain't telling us that? Brothers, did y'all hear that? Christ said, I'm only sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's, That's right. these people right here. That's us right here. We've been lied to. Y'all know about Ky Kyrie Irving? Y'all know about Ye? Y'all see why they doing them the way they doing them? Because our black people waking it up now. The truth is coming out. Right. White man this is a shame. He's looking a fool right about now. Because right. he had us looking up to him. Now we can look down at him. That's yeah. right. He full of, I got to say, he full of That's, that's right. what he is. Right. And we get ready to expose him back. by we coming back. back as our true heritage, not as Muslims. Okay? They did good. They gathered together. But they were still missing that one thing. There was still some truth that they was missing. Farrakhan knows and he'll tell you that we are the children of Israel. Malcolm right. X was telling him then, we are the valley of dry bones. Right. We are those people. We are the ones that's going to be resurrected. Okay? Not only physically, but spiritually we're going to be resurrected. Right. Malcolm X, that's why they had to kill him. That's why they had to put him down. Hey. 
They put one man down. Then they put another man down. Then they put another man down. But what you gonna do when thousands of them rise up? You can't stop it no matter what, because you know what? We've been scattered all over the earth and we're waking it up to who we are. We are the children of Israel. That's right. Those people yeah. that's trying to be us are imposters. Right. They're liars. Right. They run everything, but they can't run God. Right. Yeah. They can't stop God from waking his people up. Right. 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 They're done. they done. The table is turning now. Right. This is the great awakening that's happening in the land today. Yes, right. I bet people are starting to know who they are. Christianity didn't do nothing but destroy us. They gave us a white Jesus. They gave the Chinese, they got some old old Chinese fat, fat man called Buddha. He ain't helping us. This white man ain't helping us. Because there ain't but one God. And that one God looks just like all of us. He's a black man according to the Bible. Revelation 1 and 14. Let the Bible speak. Let's prove it then. If I'm lying, they won't, they, I bet they won't let Kyrie pull a Bible out. Right. I bet they won't let Ye pull that Bible out. Right. No, you come talk to me, but keep that Bible out of here. No, let's see what the Bible says. Right. Revelation 1 and 14. Read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said his head and his hairs. So that means he was white and it was woolly. The texture was woolly. Walk your hands through your hair like this. It ain't long and stringy. It ain't fine and stringy, dead and falling all over the place. He said his head and his hairs, meaning the hairs on his face, because he, he wore a beard. A beard is to represent manly dignity. If you can grow a beard, grow your beard. You know why? Because when we came over here in slave ship, you know what they did? They shaved our heads bald. We thought we were in a bald head. Now we go bald naturally, that's, that's natural, okay? We shave our heads bald, shave the hair right off our face, and call us a boy. Call you a boy. Neither spit coon call you anything but a child of God. But you the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. We the greatest people on the face of the earth. That's right, brother. Throw his hand up like the brother did back in, in the Olympics. Am I right? Y'all remember that. Okay? It's getting ready to go down again. That's right. We're going to throw our hands up. But you know what? We're going to throw them up to the Most High God. Say, God, right, right. help us. God, save us. Please. Save us from the land Please. of our enemies. Lord. Save us from these wicked people. Right. That's been destroying us down through history. Hey. You know that fathers used to, they, they, like parents used to tell them, boy, don't do that. You're going to reap what you sow. Yeah. <laughs> Their time is coming. Right. I'm telling you, brother, it's a time for us to celebrate like never before. We're going to celebrate. Ain't going to be no more tears. Ain't gonna be no more crying of, of sad and sorrow. It's gonna be joy in the land when the Most High God get through with this place. Right. I'm feeling some of it now because they've been being exposed. Sorry. It's coming out. I'm happy as I can be. Now I know we're gonna go through some things. Don't get me wrong. Okay, they might take some of us out. That's all right. But God gonna bring us back. Like Jane Brown would say, get ready for the big payback. I know y'all relate to that. That's right, the big payback. If I could do it, I'd do a spit right here and bounce right back up. That's exactly right. So read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. It didn't say it was gray. It didn't say, it ain't no in between. It said it was white like snow. Okay? Read on. And his eyes was a flame of fire. Now, why would his eyes be looking like a flame of fire? He had the whites of his eyes was red like a flame of fire. Can you imagine somebody look at you? I don't seen him before. Somebody look at you, them eyes red. What they say? You know, they drunk or high. They, they, they either yeah, drunk, drunk or high, high right? Bro. They will say that. But believe me, Christ wasn't drunk, and he sure wasn't high. high. He drunk wine, but he okay. drunk it in moderation. Yeah. You know how then you get a little buzz? Let, yeah. let me chill. I'm feeling good now. Let me relax. Okay? Don't get drunk and stupid. Fall all over the place, beating on people. No, not that ain't how we roll. But his eyes was red. The white of his eyes was red. Okay. You want to read it? That, let's prove it, okay? Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Yeah. His eyes shall be red with wine. It said his eyes shall be red with wine. Okay? Just like that water, he turned that water into wine. It, I'm telling y'all, brother. Listen, let's, 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 let's go back to Revelation 14. You heard it, okay? And his eyes was a flame of fire. 
and his feet were like unto fine brass. Now his feet was like unto fine brass. Y'all seen that brown, that brass, that golden, that yeah, nice brown? Yeah, red. Yeah, yeah, it got a little, little, red, red, it can have a little, little reddish to it that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But it, he is going red, red. But watch this, he is going a little deeper than that. He just let you know, I'm a man of, of, of color. That's what the color. But let me show you how even more color I was. Feet as fine brass as what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burned in a furnace. You burn something in the furnace, but what you going to get? Black, Dark. 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 That's right. Darn near purple, the brother said. He was blackity black, black, black. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with being blackity yeah, black, yeah. black, black? I'm glad I'm black. Yeah. A beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. You know when you see that black one, that's one of the most beautiful yeah. things you can see. Yeah. Yeah. That old dead looking, cold looking white woman ain't hitting on that, bro. Don't fool yourself. Yeah. God created us to look like in his, he created the man in his image and in his life. Then he brought forth the woman from us. That's what woman means, from man, okay? From man, she represents us. That's why we got to get our women back. We got to get our mind back right. so we can lead and rule like we supposed to. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.